Hi folks, I'm a retired forest technologist from the Department of Natural Resources and I have 29 years experience fighting forest fires here in Nova Scotia. As things progressed last week and buildings were burning and, and uh, people were being evacuated, I realized that, can't, that uh, Nova Scotia had a resource of retired uh, technical staff that were experts at fighting fire. And so I put together a team, I called some of these guys up and I put together a crack team and then I immediately notified uh, Natural Resources at Fire Control in Shuby. I contacted a local district supervisor and they both notified me that the province wouldn't be interested in hiring on uh, re any retired staff to do work. So uh, at the same time we were being told that, the Premier was begging for help on every newscast that he could get on. So I started that last Tuesday and then I fought with the province uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and again on Friday, trying to get our guys put in key positions where they were needed throughout the province. And uh, I got the same answer continually, thank you, but no thank you. Finally, I got frustrated and went on talk radio on Thursday, and then I got a phone call from Shuby Radio that said, uh, or not Shuby Radio, Shuby Fire Control, that they'd put my name on the list and the name of a few others. It was a polite way to say, look, uh, we, we know you're making noise. Thank you, but no thank you. We're still not going to hire you guys to come fight fires. So what taxpayers need to understand is while buildings were burning and the province was short staff and our government was standing in front of TV cameras saying we're doing everything they can. They lied to your face. They didn't. I could have pulled together a lot more teams of guys, uh, retired guys, willing to come out and do this. Uh, we were not offering to do front line, uh, hose line fire, but there's, there's uh, for every guy on the line, sometimes there's three guys behind the line providing, providing what they need in the way of services. And we were highly trained in both evacuation, all, level, all levels of incident command. Personally, I've been incident commander on dozens of, uh, uh, dozens of different fires and fought fires up to 50,000 acres. And together on the first team I put together, we had close to 200 years of experience of fighting fires here in the, uh, the Acadia region of Nova Scotia. We have our own particular forests down here that, for example, all the crews that are being shipped in have zero experience fighting fires in an Acadian forest region. Uh, most of their experience is in boreal forests. The guys from South Africa have no experience up here. The guys from the U.S., same thing. And our own government passed over an opportunity to hire a team of professionals to come in and help them do the work they're now paying for foreigners to come in and do who aren't experienced uh, in, the, in our forest type. And it's absolutely a, a disgrace to the province. Now, I realized that there were major problems at all levels. There appears to be problem at, uh, at man, uh, bureaucratic levels, managerial levels, and at political levels. When things should have been done, they weren't getting done. But I'd like to quote Tim what Tim Houston said on Thursday on talk radio. He said, in an emergency, the time for action is now, the time for paperwork is later. And that was only minutes after I'd just been advised from Shubin Ackley, thanks, but no thanks, we're not, going to be, we're not going to take you guys on. So our team stayed on standby, hoping that we'd get a call all week, and that call never came. So if you lost your house and fires remained out of control, when a politician looks you in the eye and says, we did everything we could, they're lying to your face. And what has to happen here is people need to be held accountable, both at a bureaucratic level and at a political level. So how do we fix this? What has to happen is a database has to be put together of retired DNR force firefighters. The guys are still interested that would like to be able to come out and keep themselves up to date and get called in on short notice rather than use the CIFC program that they use through uh, uh, Shubenacity and call in locals first. And there's no reason it can't be done. All it needs is political will. So something has to change and if I lost the house and I had been evacuated, I would literally be crying at the top of my voice for politicians to fix this. So it needs to get done and it needs to get done now. No more excuses. Anyways, guys, uh, that's a little background that you're not going to hear anywhere else. So peace out and take care of yourself out there.